of the Anguana Front administration hammering negative remarks at our citizens, it leaves us to wonder what next. This is the time for healing the wounds, fellow Anguillians, not inflicting more unnecessary pain on our people. It is time for our Anguillian politicians to leave the stage gracefully and with a sense of pride and accomplishment. There is no need for us to see our senior politicians demoralizing our society over petty personal politics. Thus, I beg of our Honorable Chief Minister, please give respect to our taxi drivers, for these are indeed the men and women who are called upon daily to be our ambassadors for this island of ours. It is not a lazy profession. It is a profession which calls for patience, respect, knowledge, honesty, and transparency. So when we hear coming from the podium of the Anguilla United Front, the taxi drivers or the taxi profession is a lazy one, we in the Anguilla Progressive Party ask of you, fellow Anguillians, to forgive them for the speak without first thinking. We, however, salute each and every taxi operator for your invaluable service given to this nation on a daily basis. We in the Angola Progressive Party would like to say thank you to Thoughtful Harrigan, to Aubrey, Oliver, Clevet, all the other taxi drivers who continue to serve this country on a daily basis. We salute you and we salute the career which you have decided to take. But again, it's a front. So they are good at covering the dark spots. We will allow them to cover them on election day when your voice will be heard loud and clear on the Anguilla Progressive Party's victory shouting from east to west, free at last, free at last. Thank God we are free at last. Words of the late Martin Luther King. This must be our song as we move Anguilla into a new direction, a new direction of peace unity and prosperity for not some, but for all and Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, there are still several matters left unaccounted to date. And I speak about the comprehensive financial expenditure report on the war break expansion, which took place in early 2000. We wish to have this report before the next general election, Mr. Banks. The skeleton document that was provided did not indicate much. And we, the taxpayers, we need to know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now moving towards the creation of a port authority. And these matters need to be addressed for millions of dollars, your dollars, my dollars, were spent on this project. And a proper accounting of the taxpayers' money must be made available. This issue will not die until transparency is brought to the forefront by the Angola United Front Administration. The Chief Minister referred to a lot about legacy. But we're going to forget about legacy this evening. Another concern that has faced us, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that we heard that they were seeking some $49 million from the British. The British approved with stipulations, some $20 million. To date, what have we heard in respect to this? Where is the secrecy? Why is it that there's a secret? The people of Angola need to know what is your position. We are looking for openness and honesty and transparency. What is being shelved? Another issue that is confronting us 
is that we are hearing that there will not be a budget prepared before the next general election. And the question must be asked, is this because the administration has something to hide and they're afraid that if they release it now that they will go home altogether? Whether you release it now or not, you're going home because the Angola Progressive Party is ready to take this country forward. We are not prepared for Anguillians to buy a pig in the bag and by voting for the Anguilla United Front Administration will be buying a pig in the bag because we do not know what they have in store for us. We have been hearing election after election that something is coming to the east. We are still hearing that something is coming to the east. Our people are traveling to the west over and under. I am going to say to you that the Anguilla Progressive Party under Pam's, uh, with Pam in the house, Pam and myself, we will ensure that something accountable for that. Change is coming. I said change is coming. A new direction is shaping under the Anguilla Progressive Party. Rally with us as we move through this process, leaving no one behind for Anguillians. For you can rest assured that under this team, that Anguillians first will be the key come 2010. So tonight, it is not about the APP as a party. It is about Anguilla, yes. our beloved home, that we seek to preserve from the hands of fair men and not wanting to be laid in 2010. Our forebears of 1967 had a plan and a vision for Anguilla as well as a dream. Are we going to allow that to be destroyed, further destroyed, by changing faces in a failed administration? I say no, and I know that you will say no by electing team arranged to the hell on election day with Pam Webster in district number one, with Fabian Lewis in district number five, with our party leader, Mr. Brent Davis, in district number six, with Mr. Wilmot Hodge, in district number seven, and with your humble servant, in district number two. And where a change is coming, I can feel it, and where in the front can feel it, and as a result, they are under pressure, for you can fool the people some of the time, my friends, but you cannot fool the people all the time. The dead. The day is fast approaching. So in closing, let me remind you that you are one day from being able to make that change, which we all so desperately deserve. So go tomorrow. Go tomorrow and register. It's a closing date for registration. So go, tell your friends, tell your neighbors that they have one last day to make a change and get rid of this front by registering for the candidates of the Anguilla Progressive Party. District 1, Pam is here. Pam, I said, Pam is here. And we know that you will give her your full support in 2010. Yes, you can. Say with me. Yes, you will. Yes, we will. We will rebuild our church rock once again. God bless you. God bless Anguilla. The Anguilla Progressive Party.